Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into the Emperor's Own. I want to give a big thank you to Resonant, who put me onto this. I had no idea this game existed until they messaged me last night, and yes, this game is quite interesting. So in Steam's description it says the Emperor's Own is a story-driven adventure game with RPG elements set in an alternate universe. Inspired by the Russian Empire at the dawn of the 19th century, it features multi-dimensional characters, difficult moral dilemmas, and a mature branching narrative. I love myself a good role-playing game, but the biggest thing about this is the fact that Tom McKay voices the main character, aka Henry from Kingdom Come Deliverance. This I have to say. The latest briefs. And good morning to you as well. All right, gentlemen. The time has come to figure out precisely what's going on in the Borderlands. The reports and rumors coming out of there are getting wilder by the day. Ghosts, men with the heads of wolves, satanic sacrifices, the dead rising from their graves, and no less than five sightings of the devil himself. The last part is especially surprising, since Vlad hasn't been anywhere near those parts in almost a year. I hope you're still as amused when I make you scrub the toilets all night. So it's finally happened. The rabble has gone off the deep end. Surely we're not going to waste our time on peasant superstitions? Initially, we weren't. Found some of them quite amusing, in fact. However, recently we've been hearing far more insidious whispers. Some of the commoners have got it into their heads that all this is the result of the Emperor having lost God's favor, and that unless a change is made at the very top, we will all soon be overrun by demonic forces. I see. These matters have a way of getting out of hand if left unchecked. So we should put an end to this business as quickly as possible. You will ride for the province of Blagoyask together, then split up. Vlad and Eugene will go to the city of Blagoyask itself. Dimitri, Nick and Alex, you will investigate the surrounding villages and homesteads. Our orders? Investigate the precise source of these rumors. Find the main agitators spreading them, and persuade them to stop. Or kill them. Either way works for us. Any other questions? I want to mention straight away, this is an alpha. Uh, this is not the final product. Uh, this is a teaser. But did you notice Tom McKay? It's so weird hearing him voicing another character. Also, the main guy at the desk with the mustache? Who is he? I've heard his voice before, and I can't place him. He has such an epic voice. Can the rumors be true, sir? The dead come back to life and monsters summoned by the devil. Yes, you better bring a magic medallion than a silver sword. Wouldn't want Satan to catch you unprepared. Right, okay. You ride immediately. Him? Yes, sir. Who is that guy? Who is he? Who are you? This is where we split up. Good luck. You too. What are you looking at, Alex? There's a chest over there. It's right in the shot. How can't you see it? What is it? I think it's a chest. A chest? In the bushes? How did it get there? Maybe it fell off a wagon. Then grew wings and flew up that hill. Let's have a look. <laughs> Why is it there? It's it's locked. It said that before you even tried. Maybe there's a key nearby. Finding a chest in the middle of nowhere is unlikely enough. If we were to find the key to it as well, that would defy credulity entirely. And why the hell do we even need a key? It's a chest, not a vault. Let's just break it open. One sword? Who would use a whole chest to store a single sword? And why would they just leave it out here in the wilds? It feels right for some reason. But just think for a moment how utterly preposterous this is. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing how preposterous this is. Also, was it Tom McKay doing it? Because he said, oh, sorry, when he did it, that's amazing. If he says, I feel quite hungry, then I'm going to be done. Let's pick up the sword. What are you doing? I'm taking the sword. What for? You have a sword. Maybe it's better than the one I have. Better how? A sword is a sword. They're all more or less the same, except the one you have is clean and sharp, and this one is old, rusty, and covered in 
God knows what. I, I love his voice acting, by the way. I think he's so posh. It's amazing. Um, maybe I can sell it. Yes, that's what I'm going to do with it. Sell it to whom? Who would buy a rusty old sword you found in the bushes? And why would you want to? You know we get paid a salary by the service, right? Did you already blow all your money? Gambling problem? Women? What's going on, kid? If you need a little loan till the end of the month, you let me know. But peddling junk is a disgrace to the uniform. If someone sees you, we'll be a laughing stock. Okay, this game is completely bizarre. Not only does it remind me a little bit of Battlefield Bad Company with the banter that goes on between the different team members, and that game is phenomenal, by the way, but it also feels like some weird sitcom. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. I'm loving it, though. I think this is bloody brilliant. Hang on, what if it's magic? All right, you got to lay off the sauce, kid. I'll tell them not to pour you so much at the next tavern. Drop that hunk of junk and let's go. <laughs> magic sword. Your magic sword is in your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh, Tom McKay making a penis look delightful. I love it. Imperial Guard! We're saved! The Emperor himself sent him here to save us from these horrors. Nay, you fool. Wasn't you listening? That tyrant doesn't care about us one whit. They must be spirits. Demons come to hurt the lady. All right, what have we here? Oh, no, it's the Cubans. Watch out! Look so real. We are real, idiot. Now get your hands away from me before I cut them off. You will not touch the lady. What? Hang on, what lady? Yeah, exactly. What lady are you even talking about? What's it to you? You are after a die, foul spirits. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Give me a second. Oh, hang on. So they ride up to these people who then say, oh, we're saved. You've come to save us. And then they're like, wait a minute, you're not real. And then they're like, no, we are real. And then they're like, you've come for our lady. And then we're like, what lady? And then they're like, that lady. You, you shall not speak her name. Die. I'm so intrigued. I am awfully intrigued right now. Greetings, friends, from warm and sunny Russia. Thank you for playing an early alpha version of the Emperor's Zone. This is the first truly playable chapter of the game it's still an early work in progress and so much will be fit oh please don't say this is the end major things we're still working on though uh, the combat is a placeholder that we quickly whipped up just something for the alpha we're reworking it completely so don't expect much for that okay right most animations in the game are made by hand damn or with procedural generation and it shows in the full release we have a plan to do full mocap uh, the world is still fairly empty. We've got a few Easter eggs hidden in there, uh, but most side content hasn't been implemented yet. The graphics will be improved all around, including the lighting and character models. I think the lighting is quite good. The mouth movements are definitely off, but apart from that, I think the characters themselves look okay. Save frequently and don't delete old saves. You can't save during dialogue. If you skip through dialogue really quickly, that can cause bugs. Okay, we won't do that. Companions? Companions? Whoa! Occasionally get stuck in various places <laughs> while exploring the world. Uh, very occasional. An extra marker may spawn on their mini-map. Oh, this is fully open world. That's amazing. Only delete saves from within the game. I've never had a game tell me what... I've never had a game instruct me on saves before. This is really bizarre. Can I not move? There you go. Right. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's not, it's not terrible. Oh, hang on. Oh, let me. Oh. Ah. Oh, get wrecked. Okay. Coming for this guy. I wish I could play as the Tom McKay character. I want to play as Henry, goddammit. Also, if you need any more voice actors, I'd be up to do some voice acting in this game. Oh, that was unexpected. What would possess a commoner to attack Imperial Guardsmen? They did not seem right in the head. Possessed may be the right word. Don't be ridiculous. Possessed or not, they were raving about demons and spirits. And some lady. It appears the reports were not exaggerated. The locals really have lost it. What now? Mount up and on to the village. Oh my god, I'm working with Henry. Henry! Ah, oh, delight. I don't even know his name in the game. <laughs> I'm just going to call him Henry. From... <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to contact Tom McKay at some point soon and be like, 
Hey! How's it going? Okay, so graphically, I think this game looks quite nice. I don't think this looks bad at all. I don't know how much of it is um, stock assets, because obviously this is early alpha. Um, but right now, this world itself looks really nice. Guys, stop ruining the illusion. Um, <laughs> horses feel quite good. They've got a good turning circle. You can do a little canter here. Um, can we do a gallop? Is that a thing? No, we've only got canter as of now. What if I fail your test? Don't worry. We know exactly how to deal with people who have seen too much. In fact, that's one of our specialities. Wonderful. You shouldn't complain. You're lucky that you have us evaluating you. The guys I had, Andre and Yuri, don't know which one was the bigger hard ass. When I suggested we rest after three straight days on the road, Yuri called me a pussy and said a bitch like me would never make it. Sure sounds like him. And when I finally dozed off in the saddle on the fourth day, Andre smacked me in the head so hard I fell off my horse. They sound charming. Can't wait to meet them. I wouldn't be in a hurry if I were you. Where are they now? Killed in action. Oh. <laughs> well, that took a dark turn. Also, I, I just loved hearing Henry say those lines. Amazing. How did they get Tom McKay is the ultimate question, because he's doing quite a lot at the moment. Who goes there? A pot's upon your half wit. Can't you see these Imperial Guard? Forgive the fool, my lords. Welcome to Aylswood. Who is in charge here? Our alderman lives on the third house on the left. Thank you. Oh my god, is that a pig? Oh, fantastic. Hang on, I need to get off and inspect this. One second. It's like about pig, he's awesome. Yeah, detail-wise, I like this. This is cool, especially for an alpha. Also, performance right now seems quite good. I haven't had any dips or anything. Normally, games that release in alpha generally don't run great. Um, so that might be down to the new CPU, or the game's just well optimized. My lords, I am Osip, the village alderman. To what do we owe the honor? We've heard some interesting tales about these parts. To put it mildly. Good lord be praised. I knew his majesty would not leave us to these evil spirits. Oh, thank you, my lords. Thank ye. I thought we were goners for sure. Ah, uh, right. Get to the point. <laughs> no, we're here to help. It's as if hell itself opened up, my lord. There's wicked beasts prowling the countryside, digging up graves and raising the dead to walk again. Men possessed by infernal spirits are a common sight round our peaceful village. And that evil witch. Oh, God, have mercy on us sinners. The end times are upon us. I swear it. Please, my lords, I hope you won't scorn what little we've got. Not at all. Thank you for your hospitality. You honour us, my lords. So go on, tell us about these beasts then. It began about a moon ago. One night, we heard strange-like sounds coming from the woods. Woods at night are always full of strange noises. Especially humans. These were screams. Inhuman, piercing screams. Myself and some of the boys from the village, we crept up there to take a look we did, and we saw wicked beasts. They walked as men, but they had the heads of wolves, with great red eyes, burning with the fires of hell, led by a great big one they were, tall as three men it was, and it had horns, giant, wicked horns. Come to think of it, my lords, t'was no mere beast, but the devil himself. That's enough. Go back to the beginning. Huh? What's that? This time, keeping in mind that lying to an Imperial officer is a capital offence. Ca capital, my lord? As in where his majesty lives? As in if you lie to us again, we'll hang you. Oh my god! Beg mercy, my lord, I did. Did you see this devil or not? What is happening? Nay, my lord. But the rest, the rest be true! <laughs> men with heads of wolves. Lord Almighty, strike me down if I'm lying! Don't say that, they literally will. We ran for our lives. Was there anything else? Aye. The village cemetery near the woods. A week ago, something dug up some of the graves at night. And what would a robber want with bones? Nay, my lord. Tis demons from hell it is. 
raising the dead for their evil purpose. I just knows it. I'm gonna say it right now. The voice acting in this is absolutely bloody fantastic. Wow. Um, tell us about the witch you saw. Oh, that whore's behind all our misfortunes. I just knows it. Her face is now that of a young lass. And her breasts, once old and saggy, now they are supple and large like the- Why was you looking at her breasts, you old pervert? <laughs> Because she bewitched me! Oh yeah, that's why. I'm a god-fearing man, my lords, but she's turned me mind to evil thoughts she has. So has this big boobed witch harmed anyone? I'm a lord. She tried. She tried, but we wouldn't let her. The day after she reappeared, she came down from her hill to the village square to work her foul magic. Oh, men folk. Oh, they grew weak at the sight of her. She was charming them with her evil powers, she was trying to take their minds for her own. But us women folk, we stood our ground. We told her that the devil's whore is not welcome, dear, amongst God-fearing folk. Ordinary men they were until recently, but now their minds are gone, taken by demonic powers. Right. Are they from around here? But nay, my lord, they are passers-by, bedeviled by that infernal witch. Took their minds, she has. Okay, well, thank you for your information. Clean and feed our horses in the meantime. Hi, uh, my lord. <laughs> God be with you. <laughs> He's so bloody rude. Well then, the last time I heard such tales was from my grandmother when I was a little boy. There has to be something behind them, though. Clearly he's exaggerating, but I doubt he made up everything. We've already seen the bandits. And the empty grave should be easy enough to verify. I'm more interested in that witch. If she's even remotely close to the description, I'd like to take a look at her. Oh, trust you, Henry. God damn it. <laughs> You've already had Teresa and Lady Stephanie. That's enough. Okay, let's go and have a look at her breast. I mean, uh, go have a look at the witch. Aye, she'll be trouble for sure. The pieces we can pick up, but won't fix the pots. What are we going to do now? Maybe fuck it. I still have a little left. So what are you waiting for? Let's get to it. Um, what? What is happening? Um. <clears throat> uh, yes, hello. My lord, at your service. What happened here? Devils, my lord. Uh. <laughs> they appeared as if from hell itself and went straight for the cart, they did. We barely fought them off, I swear it. Right. Did you fight them using bottles? Um. Uh, we, we, we're celebrating our victory. In the name of His Majesty the Emperor. Right, that's it. All right, you idiots. So long. Um, masters, we... We drink to your elf too. But we're poor fun. Maybe... A pittance for half a bottle? If it please you. You know what? Yes, we've been a bit dickish in the town, so why not? Thank you, my lord. God keep you, my lords. Tis no shame in drinking all day to such fine masters. As I said before, voice acting, fan bloody tastic. Um, they've got a really good cast here so far. I'm assuming her house is up here then, right? According to the Elderman, the witch's house should be up this hill. I wonder if there's going to be a trail of breadcrumbs. We'll find out soon enough. The Alderman painted quite the picture of this witch. Lush black hair and large supple breasts. Sounds like my kind of <laughs> <laughs> About what? That she might turn you into a frog. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'll be alright. Besides, all you'd need to do is take me to a princess and have her give me a kiss. That only works if it's true love. What's not to love? Right. Still, I think I'd rather keep you in my pond as a pet. Glad to know I can count on you. Don't worry. I'll feed you nothing but the finest flies and mosquitoes in the Empire. Friend indeed. You know, he kind of sounds like Hans. It's kind of giving me, like, alternate universe KCD vibes. They're like banter between each other. Also, bloody Henry slash Dimitri. All he could bloody think about is that. Good God. So this is completely available on Steam right now. You can download this for completely free and play through it for yourselves. They've come for the lady. Kill him. Um, no, no. I, I, I just want her, her supple boobies. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> ah. Don't. <laughs> Is there a health system? I'm not even sure. You know what? The combat doesn't feel that bad. I was expecting it to be awful. It's not terrible. I mean, yes, it, it could be better. Um, but the lock-on's pretty nice. Um, I got stamina to worry about. 
they're obviously going to be updating this as time goes on. Such dashing officers. To what do I owe the pleasure, gentlemen? The pleasure is all ours. Oh my. <clears throat> Take it away, Alex. Right. My lord. Uh, hello, yes. So, um... Mm. Ha! Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to ask to, to, um, the, 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 have you heard? Um, oh, they're local monsters, apparently. Have you heard about that? Not that you're one, you're beautiful. Only stories I overheard from my erstwhile guardians. Something about men with heads of wolves. Somebody digging up the graves at the cemetery. And that poor young man that was torn to pieces four days ago. The Elderman didn't mention anything about that. Hmm. Interesting. I dare not pry, gentlemen, but surely three Imperial Guardsmen are not out here merely for some local superstitions. Perhaps I may be of assistance? Somebody has been spreading rumors blaming the Emperor for all the supposed horrors that have befallen these parts. Have you heard anything? I've not been here long, but my so-called protectors mentioned something about a wise man. He's been opening the eyes of the oppressed, or something to that effect. In fact, that's how they ended up here to begin with. They were on their way to see him. I believe they mentioned he was in the homesteads near the old monastery. I know the place. A few hours' ride from here. Thank you for your help. How may I be of help, gentlemen? How are we again? Why do the villagers keep saying that you're a witch? I mean, you're, you're stunning. You're not a witch. You don't look like a big nose. Kind of, you know, uh, you're not like that at all. I arrived here at night, and the following morning went down to the village square to meet the residents. I'm no stranger to attention, but out here my presence caused an outright commotion. All the men were tripping over themselves to greet me, but before I'd even had an opportunity to properly introduce myself, those harpies set upon me. They called me every filthy name I'd ever heard, and quite a few that I hadn't. Then they started throwing rocks and threatening to kill me. To burn me at the stake, to be precise. I had no choice but to run back here. I know not the reason that the women hated me so. Oh, I can think of a couple. Quite shapely ones at that. Oh, God damn it, Henry! I invite... Hang on a minute. No, no, Dimitri's whispering in my ear. No, he's told me he's going to kill me if I advise you to cover up. Did the villagers harm you in any way? Aside from a few bruises, no. Then these brigands showed up shortly after, and would let no one near me. Now that you have so gallantly dispatched them, I can only hope that cooler heads will prevail among the locals. We should probably make certain that they do. Well, it's been lovely seeing you two. I mean, you as a person with two independent... Anyway, let's go. Bye! I know throughout this bloody video I've been calling him Henry. I know. I'm completely aware. His name's not Henry. Although, if they can change his name to Henry for the final game, I would be so happy. Thank you. Well, she certainly seemed pretty easy. But I don't know if I'd go so far as the devil's whore. I wouldn't mind getting to know her a bit. Shame we're in a rush. God damn it, Henry! It's not exactly surprising that the local women aren't thrilled by her presence. What is surprising is the dedication of the men protecting her. Something's off here. I've seen frightened men, but not like this. Maybe it's not about fear. What then? Did you see her? She's all right. All right. All right. If Max and I weren't here, you'd be getting to know her a bit right now. Oh, sure, I'd fuck her. I wouldn't die. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. You've never seen a man give his life for a beautiful woman. I have. And I've never been able to understand it. Your father did just that. Anyway, let's go. This isn't the same game. I know. I'm completely aware. I'm going to save it here. We're going to come back to this. I need to experience more of this game. And I, I can't put my finger on it. It's bizarre, brilliant, funny. I I'm loving this. I think this is great. I can't wait to see what they do with this game. Volga Studios, well done. Like, seriously well done. Anyway, what do you guys think? Comment down below and tell me. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.